Hello everyone. So today we are going to do math. I should have written math up there. Math lesson 13 for Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Pages 87 through 92 are what you're going to need. You also might want to get some counters or little pieces of cereal or something to count with. Okay, so Wednesday, September 23rd, math, lesson 13, pages 87 to 92 from your math book. Okay, here we go. We're going to get started. Okay, today we're going to talk about true and false statements. Okay, so a true statement means it's real, it's true, it's happening. A false statement means it's not true, it's not real, okay, it's not happening. So true, my name is Miss Davies. That's a true statement, right? Okay, um, a false statement would be, it is winter outside right now, and it is snowing and blowing, and it is like zero degrees out. That would be false, wouldn't it? Because it's not that cold yet, and actually we just got into fall. So that would be a false statement. Well, you can have true and false statements in math also. And that's what we're going to talk about now. Remember, if you don't see any um, directions up here, we look at the bottom. Okay? So at the very bottom, it says, there are three yellow and three red eggs in a nest. Okay, so let's draw three yellow eggs. And we're going to draw three red eggs. Or did it say four? Oh, what did it say? You have three yellow and three red eggs in a nest. And then it says, uh, there are seven eggs all together. Hmm, are there seven eggs all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. I only see six eggs. So is that true that there are seven or is it false? Yep, you guessed it. That would be false. There are not seven eggs in that nest. Okay, so let's go to the next page. Clear that ink. Oh, I gotta get my tool back. Okay, next page. Statements can be true or false. A true statement is a fact. It's real. A false statement is not a fact. It's not real. So here we have five mice plus one more. Five plus one is six. Is that true or false? Five gray mice plus one brown mouse, ew. Ooh, I hate mice. Ooh. Ah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five plus one is six. That is true. So they circled the word true. A false statement is not true. It's not a fact. Um, this one says five mice plus one mouse equals five. Does five plus one equal five? No. So that would be a false statement. Okay? So let's try a few. Two plus four is six. Okay? So you can have counters and you can set two yellow and six red and add them together and see what you get. Or you can put four in your head and count up two, 
we can count up four, five, six. Is two plus four six? Yes, it is. That is true. If we add two plus four, we're go going to get the answer six. This one is a little different, boys and girls, because it set, it's, it's kind of backwards than this, than this number sentence. It's backwards than what we're used to seeing because it says eight. Eight equals three plus five, okay? It's different than what we're seeing, but we can start with the answer first. Eight equals three plus five, okay? You can use counters to check. You can draw pictures, three plus five, and you can count them, and you're going to get eight. So that would be true. Or you can start with the big number five and count up three, five, six, seven, eight. So eight equals three plus five. That is a true statement. Okay, number three. One plus seven is nine. One plus seven is nine. Hmm. Uh, we could do circles and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. One plus seven is eight. It's not nine. Another way you could do it is start with seven and count up one. What comes after seven? Eight. One plus seven is eight. It's not nine. So is that true or false? Yep, that would be false. Okay. Oh, the next one looks a little different too, boys and girls. Seven equals seven. Well, if you have seven apples in this hand and seven apples in this hand, they're equal, right? You have the same amount. Yep. So that is going to be true. Make, an, make a false addition statement and tell it to a parent or your brother or sister. So I can make a false one and tell you mm, five apples plus three apples equals one apple. That would be false, right? Because five plus three is not just one, right? So that would be a false number sentence. So could you tell somebody a false addition statement number sentence to somebody? Okay, this next page here is some independent practice. So what I want you to do is get your counters out or you can draw your circles or you can start with a big number and count up the other number. Do whatever you can to figure out are these sentences true or false, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to pause me right now and then you're going to go ahead and work this uh, page out and then unpause me when you're done and we'll check it together. Okay? Okay, good luck. Okay, you should be ready. You should have paused me and now you're ready to go again. One plus three equals five. One plus three equals five. One plus three equals one, two, three, four. So that sentence would be false. If you got it right, give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. We're gonna go across here, because this is five and this is six. Five plus five is 10. Five plus five. If we count those all up, we're going to get 10 and that's true. Remember guys, you have five fingers on one hand and five on the other. Put them together and you have 10 fingers. Number seven, three plus five is seven. Okay, 
um, I have eight there. So three plus five is not seven. It would be eight. So that is false. Yay, if you said false. Oh, backwards again, but that's okay. Nine equals nine plus zero. Okay, we worked on zero facts the other day. Nine add nothing is nine, right? So nine equals nine. That is true. Whoop, whoop, if you got that right. Okay, number nine. Six plus two is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six plus two is eight. True story. True. Yay, if you got that right. Five plus two is four. I already know that's not right because this number, the sum, has to be bigger than the biggest number here. Is four bigger than five? Because if I have five things and I'm going to add two to it, I'm not going to get four. I'm going to get more than five because I'm adding something to five. So I automatically know that that is false. That is not true. Okay, 11, 3 equals 3. True, it's the same number. It's worth the same amount. 4 plus 2 is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Add 2 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 plus 2 is not 7. It is 6. So that answer was false. How many of you got that right? Raise your hand. Okay. Nine equals eight plus two. So we're gonna have eight counters or eight circles. Plus two more. Nine equals eight plus two. Eight plus two equals nine. Two plus eight equals nine. No, eight plus two equals 10. So that was false. And over here, two plus five is seven. I'm gonna start with five and count up two. There's so many different ways you can do this. Five, six, seven, true. Yay if you're doing a good job. Great if you're not, great for trying. Okay, remember we talked about addition can go horizontally or vertically up and down. We're doing the same thing, only the problems are up and down. Four plus four is eight. That is a double? Yes, four plus four is eight. True. And then six plus one is five. I already know that's not true because if we have um, six baseballs and we add one more, we're not only gonna have five because we started higher than five and we're adding. So six plus one is five, that is a false statement. Okay, next page. Next page. Make sure I'm at the top. Okay. Determine if the word problem is true or false. Remember when we have word problems, we underline what we know. There are four children bird watching. Three more children join them. There are seven children bird watching in all. Four plus three is seven. Four plus three more is seven. True, because four plus three is seven. Write a true number sentence and a false number sentence. Ask a friend to circle which number sentence is true and which is false. Okay, I'm gonna have you pause me in a minute. I'm gonna have you do that. I'm gonna have you write a true sentence and a false sentence. Okay, it doesn't matter what you do first. Write one true number sentence. Oh look though, pay, pay attention to this. This is the sum they traded equals this plus this. So they started with the answer. So it's kind of backwards, okay? But I want you to write a true number sentence 
and a false number sentence. And then I want you to ask mom or dad or brother or sister to circle which it is, true or false. So pause me and do that and then come right back to me. Okay, great, here we go. So I'm gonna make one up and you're gonna help me and say if it's true or false. Seven equals one plus one. Is that true or false, boys and girls? One plus one. Yeah, that's not seven, is it? It's two. So that would be false. Okay, let's try this one. Um, six equals three plus three. True or false? Six equals three plus three. That would be true, right? Okay, good job on that. Is six plus two equals three plus six a true or false math statement? Explain. Okay, well let's figure out first, what is six plus two? Six plus two equals, we can use counters, we can use two on our fingers and count up, Six, seven, eight. Six plus two is eight. So what's three plus six? We can use counters or circles, or we can put six in our head and three in our fingers and count up. Six, seven, eight, nine. Three plus six is nine. Okay, so is eight, does eight equal nine? Is six plus two and three plus six do we get the same answer? No. So is this a true or false statement? False. It is a false statement. Because eight and nine are not the same numbers. Okay, next page. All right, this is your homework page. So we're going to look at the first two together. Math statements are true or false? Five plus one is four. No, that's false. Three plus two is five. That's true. Okay, so what you're going to do by yourself, and then you're going to send this to your teacher through uh, Seesaw, what you're going to do right now is you're going to do this side by yourself, Okay, figure out if it's true or false. So go ahead and pause me and, and do that side. And then I want you to unpause me when you're done. Okay, we're on the back side now, which is page... Uh, 92. We're on page 92 right now. Okay? This is still part of your homework. You're going to do this side just like you did the others until you get down here to number 11. Write a true or false number sentence. And then circle if you wrote if it's true or false. Now look carefully. It's backwards again. We have the sum first. One number equals these two numbers put together. So write a true or false number sentence. And then circle true if it's true or false if it's false. If your number sentence is true, you're going to circle true. If it's false, you're going to circle false. And then at the bottom, This says something that is not a fact. Is that something that's true or false? Something that is not a fact, draw a line from this sentence to true or false. Something that is a fact, does that mean it's true or false? So you're gonna draw lines there and match those up, okay? 
So when you're done with page 91 and 92, then you're gonna um, take pictures of that and send it back to your teacher online so that your teacher can check that. Okay, and we're, at, we're gonna have a test coming up soon over math. So make sure you're doing it right. Okay, bye boys and girls. Thanks for math today. Thanks for doing math with me.